This huge international corporation that says it wants to take millions of gallons from one of Florida's freshwater springs, bottle it and sell it. And they wouldn't have to pay a dime to do so. That's not going over well with some people here in the state. Our Phil Buck has been looking into this for us today. Phil, there's petitions all over the internet to try and stop this. <laughs> there, there are, and some national outlets are starting to pick this story up as well. So we wanted to see for ourselves what exactly is on the table and talked about being bottled up here. Basically, Nestle Waters wants to come in and they want to pump about 1.2 million gallons a day out of Ginny Springs, which is up in Gilchrist County. Now that feeds the Santa Fe River. And to give you an idea of just how much that is and compared with the rest of the river, it sounds like a lot, $1.2 million, but according to the U.S. Geological Survey, that's less than a half of a half of a percent. So picture this, all right? You got a dollar, all right? One cent, that's 1%. So cut that in half and then divide that by 10, all right? That's what we're talking about. Nonetheless, people who are opposed to this worry about the effect it could have on that area's waterways. The concern that we have is taking nearly 400 million gallons a year out of this particular protected waterway uh, and spring, uh, Ginny Springs and the other springs that are located in and around this, this region of, of, of the Santa Fe River. Um, we're concerned that we're going to see degradation to our springs and also to our waterway. Now, in a statement posted on its website, Nestle Waters North America said, quote, spring water is a rapidly renewable resource when managed correctly. Nestle Waters North America is committed to the highest level of sustainable spring water management at all of its springs that we manage. Now, we have worked to be a good neighbor in Florida for decades. Our commitment goes beyond just caring about the water. We value our relationships with Florida residents and community leaders and always strive to create shared value within the communities where we operate. Now, speaking of which, you know, we could talk about the effect on the community. Nestle Waters, they say they employ about more than 100 or 800 people in the state. They pay more than 58 million in payroll around the state. And they tell me that this move, if this permit is approved, could expand the facility staff at that Ginny Springs plant by 60%. So basically they say if we're going to invest all of this into our infrastructure and all this money into this, we're not going to pump the springs dry. Meanwhile, we're talking about, uh, excuse me, the waterway itself. <laughs> it's locally owned by the company there. Nestle, they pay that company for that water to get pumped out. They don't pay the state, though. The state gets zero money for all that water that gets pumped out, bottled up, and then sold by Nestle for profit.